Girl. So I had to respond to this comment because no. So I made this video about not going back to your past, right? And one of the beautiful humans we share this planet with said, if the shoe is on the other foot, wouldn't you want to be forgiven and second chance? But we preach about the God of second chances. Wow. First of all, in the video, I said, don't go back to your past because it ain't nothing there for you. I said what I said. That's fact. Second of all, I didn't say anything about forgiving the past. You can forgive somebody for what they did to you in the past all day. But forgiveness does not mean you be a fool. Yes, people reconcile. Yes, people forgive. And yes, sometimes people rehabilitate themselves and they can change. We all evolve and change over time. But one thing about energy that you need to learn, not just the lady who commented, but just anybody watching this video, is that just because someone else is making changes in their life, it does not mean that the changes that they are making coincide with the changes that you're making. It does not mean that they are on the same path as you. It does not mean that they are meant to continue to be a part of your life. The saying, people are in your life for a reason or a season and sometimes a lifetime, yes, reference that. And understand that more than one thing can be true at the same time. You can forgive, but you can also move on and not be foolish. Even if someone from your past has changed their ways, it still doesn't mean that they are on the same timeline with you. They may not be moving as fast as you and therefore their energy of procrastination or slow movement may influence your life negatively. So you can communicate, you can have a conversation all day. Y'all can talk about how far you've come, where you're going, all those beautiful things. But it does not mean that you play a fool to your past. Once a snake shows you their skin, trust and believe. If they shed their skin and have new colors, they're probably still a snake. And if you really want to break it down, since you're talking about God and we getting biblical, all of this forgiveness, illusion, foolishness, malarkey, and tomfoolery was created in the Christian religion for slaves to forgive the mistreatment that was being done to them by their masters. Forgiveness was not taught with boundaries. Forgiveness was taught to brainwash you and allowing someone else to abuse you. And it's the same rhetoric like that that has put a lot of black women in bad positions with black men who really don't want to change. So don't be a fool and don't go back to your path. Because like I said, ain't nothing there for you. Now y'all go subscribe to Mom Jeans by Nutcase on YouTube. Thanks.